share the love with South Africa's most loved dog food, Bobtail, for strong South African dogs. Welcome to the balcony that just got a lot smaller all of a sudden. Samantha Carson, thank you so much for joining us this morning with this beautiful specimen of horse. It is Orca, the Great Dane, who of course is one of the most, I think, well-established and certainly well-known breeds, but what a wonderful breed of dog. He's got such a lovely nature. Thank you. So, looking at this kind of dog, it doesn't take long for you to realize specialized needs. Mm. When you're getting a Great Dane, I would assume that there is a lot you have to take into account. One of the most important things you need to remember is when they are this size, they're still puppies for at least <laughs> two years and they have no sense of their body space. So they will run through your house and everything will get and flattened. <laughs> and you. They, don't, they didn't come installed with brakes at all. So they don't have brakes, they can't stop. So when they're running, they'll run straight into you. And I love those big paws. Yeah. Oh, he really is beautiful. Now, um, how, how much does he weigh, you were saying? He weighs 60 kilograms now, but he's on the small side for a Great Dane. So he's how, not how a large big, I know, Great Dane. You know, there are lots of records out there. Um, mm. Zeus, of course, one of the most famous ones, yes. also pushing about 70 kgs. How yes. big can they get? Um, oh, I there know. We go, sir. <laughs> he's, he's about 80 centimeters high, and I know they can get to about um, 120. So that's quite a bit larger than this, yeah. So what do we have to take into mm -hmm. account? I suppose he is going to need the room to move around. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the breed. What do we have to take into account when we are, are wanting to be a, a Great Dane owner and breeder? Um, you can't have little trinkets all over your house. Your counters are no more, are going to be totally accessible for this kind of size. Um, they'll look on the counter, they'll lean on it. They need their own bed because clearly if they <laughs> sleep in your bed, they're going to push you out. And he likes the lean, hey? Very big on physical contact. Yes. Likes to let you know that he's really. around. And they think they're lap dogs, so they'll sit on your lap. If you're sitting on the couch, they'll back up and sit on your lap. <laughs> and they love physical contact. They always want to be around you, so they're shadows. They bond to families. Um, it's very difficult to rehome them into new families because they bond very much very to closely. one family. They need to be indoors, they need to be around the family. They, you can't put them out and expect them to be guard dogs. They don't survive well with that. Okay. So, but the, when they do Hopefully have they a family... they just send enough of a statement? You know, you just need to see it in the house once and that's uh, enough, you yeah. know? No, and when I walk around with him, it's like the parting of the Red Sea. <laughs> <laughs> everyone moves off. Now, you know, looking at the muscle structure on this guy, how much does he eat? Um, he eats about two 18-kilogram bags a month. <laughs> so it's just over a kilogram a day. Yeah. Um, obviously, he looks very strong, but we know with the bigger breeds, um, especially with a very specialized breed, that often there are those genetic idiosyncrasies that start to creep in. Anything that you have to be mindful of with a dog this size and specifically with Great Danes? Um, because they're so big, they get a lot of the big diseases like heart, heart um, cardiomyopathy um, and also colic, like, same as what horses get, where they get gases, <laughs> ga gases in, their, in, in, in their gut and they, they get bloat, what is called bloat in their stomach. So they can't, um, and that's quite a serious and common thing with them. Um, and then they get cancer. They do get, they, they, because if they, they are so large, they get a lot of bone um, issues. Um, so you've got to be very careful what you feed them as puppies to make sure that they don't grow too quickly. I was going to ask, what is the optimal diet for a dog this size? You know, do the, the normal pellets go the, the, the whole distance? Have you had to feed him special things to yeah. keep him going? <laughs> There's a lot of con controversy as to diets for them. Um, the the, the oh. dog foods do cater for large breeds nowadays oh. and they are specialising their foods. Um, and then there's also the raw food diets that people that people do. <laughs> how, how tall do you think he would stand up? <laughs> uh, he, I've trained him to stand up, so he does. How do we get him to stand? Okay, Orca, sit. Orca, sit. Come up. Oh. On the shoulders. Oh, there we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh boy. That is good. very sweet, man. Very, good. very, very so sweet. So he is taller than me. <laughs> yeah, no, I can see. He's probably taller than anyone on the set. Mm. Just lastly, why are they such lovely dogs? I can see you have an incredible bond with yeah. them. Um, they're fantastic with kids. They really are. They, um, they, they need to be trained. You need to put a lot of time and effort in. You can't have a dog this size that's not trained. And because you put so much time and effort in, you bond with 
them Very and close, stay yeah. young. They, they will, they'll be loyal to you forever. They oh, really man. are fantastic. Well, he really does have a lovely nature. Well, nice to meet you, Orca. We're going to put a saddle on you and ride you yes. around. Oh, there we go. Bobas, I think you've met your match. We're going to bring you up to speed with the express news, weather and traffic. We'll continue for another half hour. Still lots to give away. Don't go away. Who's that boy? Who's that? <laughs> Got a friend. Oh. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Go 